some part of the herbology being looked down on, I would say had also come from the a lot of herbalist quacks themselves. They have created this image that have affected herbology and as we say medicines, native medicines. Because in those days, from what my mother said and my father confirmed and a lot of elders confirmed, they never took herbologists was a profession you never took a penny. That was part of the um, the the contract. You can come when you are healed or even if you are not healed to say, oh, thank you, this is a flower for you, or thank you, this is yams for you. But you should never charge for healing the person. It should be a service to the community. My grandfather did it as a service to the people. That when the people now came to say thank you, there was a feast and my grandfather liked it because he would now have a feast for the whole community, dance, music. Well, he liked to dance. He liked playing the drums. So all the things he liked doing, he can then celebrate because he had healed somebody. So the whole community obviously were behind him to try to heal someone because they know that if the person is well, that there will be a feast that they will all enjoy. They are from the farms and all that. So, so, uh, but then there have been quacks ones who give the medicine they don't do anything about. And as my mom said in those days too, there were competitions between herbalage exchange. So the father will have a feast and call all other herbology from as far as they can walk because in those days there was no car. And then they will have competition against themselves on maybe who can heal or sometimes they have, um, some of them will have um, leaves or things they'll put in your skin will itch in you. Another one will have antidote of putting something under his skin first, then he tells you put your own. You put it and it will not itch him. So he's won the competition because he's been able to find antidote before that competition and they start doing exchanges. You have this one, okay, I have that, I'll give you this. So when one is going, they will go with a bag of new knowledge. That was how they were able to cure different other things. They exchanged their powers. So what they had that time and then they would drink, be very happy, merry after the competition. But obviously, I asked my mom where some not injured, they say obviously some will be, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and that's, and that's uh, what they call in my language, they say, Obu Alobu, I would wear, which means if I'm, as a native doctor, if I'm a powerful person, powerful Obu, and you are powerful, and then I now uh, have actually beat you in the game, then obviously somebody has to be wounded, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Either both of us, or one of us, or none of us, <laughs> you know, so you go to the competition. But still, it's part of how they collected knowledge from each other in those days. And that was how they collected knowledge. <laughs>